everybody, it's Paige Evans and I want to show you how to create this layout featuring a rainbow of folded heart flowers. So this is, is a technique that I've done before but never with my new Wonders collection. So you can repeat techniques with different collections and you get different results. So I love scrap lifting myself, repeating techniques, trying things once again, using different color schemes and you get beautiful results, like I said. So the first thing I'm doing is arranging all of the pattern papers from the 12 by 12 paper pad and the six by eight paper pad into rainbow order. And then I grabbed a large heart punch and punched a heart from every single one of these papers. I didn't use kind of the rainbow papers where it had images of plants or flowers on a white background, I mostly pulled the solid pattern papers to create these folded heart flowers. And sometimes on these papers it has an ombre effect where it's lighter at the top, lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. And so I would punch a heart from both sides so I could get lots of different colors. So here I am just punching a heart from all of the papers. I stacked them two together to speed up the process. And then it's time to fold all of the hearts in half. And this creates the petals for the flowers. Each flower uses eight hearts. And I wanted to create a rainbow of hearts. So I picked eight of every color. So eight blue, eight pink, eight red, eight yellow, green, etc., to create let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flower, seven flowers. So the next step is to punch a circle from scratch cardstock. And here I'm using a hot glue gun, but I actually switched to regular liquid glue when I after I finished doing two or three of these because I wanted to be able to nudge them around and the hot glue was drying too fast for me to be able to do that. So I switched to regular liquid glue. So punch a circle. This is a one and a half circle punch and it's just scratch cardstock. Add a dab of liquid glue and then place the folded hearts right on top to create the flowers. You wanna be as quick as you can when placing the petals Again, so the adhesive doesn't dry too fast on you. And then you can fluff up the petals, make them dimensional, and continue for the rest of the folded heart flowers. They look so pretty all in a wreath round circle like that. And then I decided to grab a smaller heart punch and repeat the entire process to create another layer of hearts, heart flowers to go in the center of the large ones. So again, I punched a small heart from all of the pattern papers. I'm folding all of the hearts in half. Eight hearts to build every flower. And then I am going to punch a smaller circle from the same scratch card stock. This circle is one inch across and here is where I switch to using regular liquid glue. This is quick, quick dry glue from American Crafts. Uh, their sticky thumb line and putting the hearts, the folded hearts in place as quickly as possible. Sometimes even this liquid glue dried too fast. That's okay. Just add a little bit more and continue on your way building these folded heart flowers. So repeat until you have all of your folded heart flowers made and then I am going to layer them up color on color. So all of the oranges together, all of the pinks together, so on and so forth. These boxes of brads and buttons I got from American Crafts so many years ago when I worked in-house at American Crafts way back in 2007 to 2008. I had to get one of everything, right? I needed all of the colors of all of the brads and all of the buttons and I've held on to them in these containers and once in a while I dig into them. Brads are perfect for attaching these flowers together so I grabbed a matching brad poked it through the smaller flower and then through the larger flower and bent the prongs back to make them flat. So here we go. I chose this textured light blue cardstock for my background and I am placing the flowers in rainbow order. And then to create the stems, I am trimming a quarter inch strip of pattern paper, again creating a rainbow, so a green stem for the green flower, a purple stem for the purple flower, 
a pink stem for the pink flower, and I am not creating any leaves. A fun alternative would be to do hand-stitched stems and leaves or die-cut leaves. Um, but I just wanted to create some stems so these flowers were grounded and they weren't floating on the page. I attached the stems with the same liquid glue. Just tucked them right underneath the flowers. The flowers weren't glued down and I actually poked a hole with a paper piercer and then reattached the brads through the cardstock so these flowers aren't going anywhere. They are stuck onto the cardstock with that brad. Next step is trimming off the excess that's hanging off the left and right edges. So I just flipped it over and trimmed off the edges with some scissors. I am using this photo of my daughter and bringing in all kinds of die cuts. Again, everything is from my Wonders collection and they all, all these sentiments just kind of go together. You make today better, sunshine and smile, some kind of wonderful with all of these flowers. One of the projects that I created previously, I put these stickers on white cardstock and cut them out so they became die cuts and I am tucking them here and there. So the yellow bird is by the yellow flower, the purple butterfly is by the purple flower, creating lots of the rainbow effect. I decided I liked the placement. I attached everything with foam squares to create dimension. And then instead of handwriting my journaling, I printed it and trimmed it into strips and attaching the journaling strips with liquid glue. The very last step is to stamp the date. So I grabbed a roller date stamp and my stash of Altenew inks. I chose a dark blue to bring in that dark blue color and that's it, that's the finished layout. I hope you are inspired to create folded heart flowers. They are addicting to make and they always look beautiful. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Have a great day.